Hello guys, welcome to the channel Fluta with DevScore. Today we'll be talking about deserializing JSON encoded objects to that object. So it's gonna be a simple step we're gonna make. This is how the object will be deserializing. Is a list of users. Is a list of users. So we'll be deserializing all of this from the ID the name and it's about 10 users here. So let's check that if we can. Okay, there is a site name Beautify JSON. So I'll just copy this URL. It's JSON placeholder.typical.com slash users. So you go into code beautify.org, then you load your URL and load it. Then it should bring all of this to load all of this this is it this is it so you can see actually is actually 10 and um, users that are in this area in the list so from this we have in every user every user has an id the name username email address which is also a map in a json format and also a geo point also so we will take the easy step to visualize this to our that um, object so i'll just copy just this map just copy it and go to um json to that it is you can go to head over to this site i'll put i'll add it to the description below so I'll just paste this here and generate and give the class a name give it a name user then generate that then it generates everything I need then I'll just copy this all of this and head over to my photo project so I have this working and this is it and this is my emulator i'm using so um, in this i have, I have in my lib folder models and user and it is empty and i'll just paste all of that in a user model so we'll be using it so that's it so everything from json to json address the geo and the company so everything is just awesome so i'll just close this and in our um, in our main function we have a run app and a run app as my app as return as a build method that returns material app and and the home is home view in my own view here it just scaffold so i'll just run this so what we'll be doing is is getting all of these user objects this user in in a json format to display in our app so we'll be using future builders future builder to do that in our flutter in our flutter code so that's what we'll be doing so let's go head over to it and our project is running so in this ui which has our view model which have a home view sorry so in our service i get i have a name a file name user api so i'm going to create a class they call it user class user api then create a static static function of get all users so so this static function will, will return future list of users list of user so I'll import that the edit in our module modules and user class so then 
No, yeah. Um, of okay. Let me call. Okay, one of the things also we are going to be using is the HTTP package, and um, I'll just go down the HTTP. Okay, yet is we'll be using this for um, getting the user objects and the user JSON objects. So I've added it on my on my popspec.yml file. So here it is. So that's what we'll be using. So I'll just import it over in this class very fast and HTTP. I'll import it as HTTP so we can use that HTTP. So our app is coming up. I'll just zoom in a little so you actually see everything. Okay, it's too much. I'll close, close this a little and bring this down. So in this we are going to um, call it um, call it get user then it's going to be an, an asynchronous function so call on the async keyword and and this we're going to use the http dot get to use it http dot get then we passing this use this place that you see url so we're going to pass it there then close this just close this all there Then after passing that, we are going to um, get the response of that, call it response of response body, response body, that's what I'm going to call it. And Calling it that, I'm going to JSON decode it's from the, that convert package. So it's from just import that that converts and up passing the body of this. So sorry this should be like this shouldn't have imported this okay cool so this is our response body so what we'll be doing what we'll be doing now is for us to to serialize them and to deserialize them into our that object which is the user object so So I'll just I'll just return this. Then I'll map this. I'll map this to our user object. These are those from map from JSON. I'll pass in this. that's it and this does the work so now 
I'll go into our home view and in our home view which is the we have our scaffold which is it which is this so I'm going to add some styling which is I'm going to add the app bar and I'm going to add a title which is going to be a text widget and I'm going to call it users and that will come up cool that's nice and so now I'll have the body which I'm going to give future builders so what is future builder, builder does it gets the current snapshot of whatever future you you give to it so it's gonna be the future is gonna be a list of users I'm going to import that I'm going to import that and the future is gonna be the user API because it's static I'm going to import that Import that gets all users, and I'm going to add the builder which comes in with the context and the snapshot. The snapshot is what contains our data. So, I'm going to check if snapshots has data. So I'm going to to inverse this if snapper does not have data oh, we're going to return we're going to return center child circle up progress indicator. If it has, we're going to return the list view dot builder. So that's all we'll be using because it actually handles if it's a list of um, a list of objects. So it's look through it and display our, our objects very easy so the user object very easy so i'm going to add a build item builder meets meets all the hair then it takes a context and also the index so i'm going to return lists Style. I'm going to return this tile and in a title I'm going to we're going to have a text widget sync that's it so here we're going to define a final variable data with the name data then call on our snapshots and this so to easily get this user and um, user objects user variables so we'll just pass this okay we'll call this let's call this users then call this user and because it's going to, this is going to be a list of users so pass this in then we'll take this index and add it over here so we can easily access it so if you want to access it from this we'll just call on name and that's it very nice so I'm going to 
restart this application and so we see what's okay we're going to get an error so we're going to pass item counts into this so I'm going to pass user dot length users dot length users dot length so I will be passing so restart that we actually did get an error so so restart that and it loads and load and should display uh should display values over here okay I think we have some internet problem just switch over okay cool yeah this is it so we have a nicely displayed users over here I can also get its subtitle and I can call on the the email and it will just show up on it so we can also call on address and assess the city or the geo point from the geo point we could assess its latitude and longitude and just can I can see the streets and that's it that's it for this video if you like it just like and subscribe and i think that's big motivation for me to be doing more videos thank you